Hey, Tony here. Today I want to show you 10 A24 titles that I think you should have in your collection. So stick around. So A24 is a um, film studio that I really enjoy collecting from. They've got some really great titles, some unusual storytelling. And so I thought I would take time today to tell you 10 titles that I think you should have in your A24 collection. So first up, we have American Honey, starring Shia LaBeouf and Sasha Lane. Um, this right here I watched for the first time last year. I had heard a lot of great things about it. Wanted to check it out, so I did. It is about a group of young people who travel going door to door selling different things. I want to say that they sold magazines or something. Um, it was almost like um, that was the way that they were surviving. They were living out of hotel rooms. And it just thought, I just thought this story did a really good job of putting you there with them and the way that it made you feel. So um, American Honey is a good one to check out. Okay, next up we have this Western called The Ballad of Lefty Brown. I had never heard of this film and came across it, I think maybe on Netflix or something. And I did check it out. I really enjoyed the story. Um, the main character here, played by Bill Pullman. And how he goes out to avenge his friend's death that he was a witness to. And I just enjoyed the story. I think it was a great Western. It's a revenge story. So if you like revenge stories, this is a good one to check out. Okay, next up we have Cut Bank. Another great film. I really enjoyed this one. Um, this right here I watched last year also, starring Liam Hensworth and Billy Bob Thornton. And with this um, particular story, I thought it was very interesting. There was these two characters that were trying to get rich quick through a scheme that they were doing that got caught up in a murder investigation um, by John Malkovich's character. And just a really fun, intense story. I would highly recommend you check this one out. Okay, next up is a movie called Eighth Grade. Um, this is a coming of age story about this young girl here that I really related to just because of the way that she was trying to get through middle school and um, the tough times that she had. To me, it was very an honest depiction of what a lot of young people go through during middle school. And I thought they did a great job telling the story. I would highly recommend you check out 8th Grade. Okay, next up we have Ex Machina. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm probably mispronouncing it. But anyways, I really enjoyed this sci-fi film. Um, just a very few, I think there's three, I think there was just three characters in the whole movie. Great story, um, great twist, and I highly recommend you check this one out if you haven't already seen it. It's one to definitely have in your collection. I enjoyed that story a lot. Okay, next, next up is this sad story called The Farewell. Um, this is, of course, based on actual true life events, and it is about a granddaughter and her grandmother and her entire family and it was just a, a very heartwarming comedy movie and I just enjoyed it a lot. Definitely check this one out. Okay, next up we have First Cow. First Cow was a very interesting story. I had heard a lot about it um, and finally checked it out last year. I think I was, in, I think I was on an A24 kick and I was watching all of my A24 films that I had picked up. Um, but First Cow is a great story about these two, about this one young man who was um, borrowing milk from a local cow and creating these desserts with it, with the milk. And I guess milk was a really hard thing to come by back then, unless you had a good cow. And so anyway, this is how the story unfolds. And just a great story, and I really enjoyed this one. Okay, next up we have... Robert Pattinson in Good Time. Um, really great story. I couldn't believe how much I really enjoyed this one about this um, Robert Pattinson's character and his brother and the um, trouble that they had gotten into and um, how that story unfolds. Just a very interesting way of telling this story. I really enjoyed it and I would highly recommend you check that one out. Next up, we have The Killing of a Sacred Deer. Now, this was probably one of the weirdest movies I have ever seen. If you can just take a look at these images on the back. Very strange. Um, I really enjoyed this movie. It was so different. 
um, Colin Farrell's character and this um, Barry Keegan, I believe is his name. Just their um, their relationship and the things that happen in this story is just so unusual. Um, I really enjoyed it. It's a very twisty tale. So I highly recommend you check that one out. And then lastly, we have Minari. Now, Minari was a great story about a Korean-American family who moved to Arkansas to run a farm, something different that they had never done before, and about the grandmother that came to live with them. Now, the grandmother and the little boy really stole the show for me. I really enjoyed their interactions. A heartwarming story, a great tale of um, endurance as far as trying to keep this farm going. Just a great story all around. So those are my 10 recommendations of A24 films that I think that you should have in your collection. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know if you have any of these in your collection already and what you think about them. And also any recommendations that you may have that I should try to check out and add to my collection. I really do enjoy your comments and your recommendations. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you'd subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and on TikTok. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.